What an interesting day. We found a truffle here, a little rhizopogon that the squirrels eat. It's a pretty tasty little truffle. And another surprise right here. The We found yet another mushroom. This is a truffle. And I believe it's a gouty area, which is related to the Romerias, the coral mushrooms, and these are really, we call these the skunk truffle. Yeah, you see they've been bitten there. Where they've been bitten, right here, they've changed color, and those ripe spores will begin to smell pretty much. The unripe ones, uh, like these, you see here, some ripened ones, where the sl and even some slug slime on it. And then you see the unripened areas. There, inside. These have a pretty strong smell. We cure these in the refrigerator for a little bit and uh, make truffle butter out of them. They're strong. Alrighty, <clears throat> one last time with the with the uh, gouty area here. I'm taking a exhumed them. I've taken them all out of the area from which they were buried and you can kind of see the pattern of their distribution. They go in ones and twos and then at the end there's lots of them and you can kind of see again it's a semicircle. It could be a semicircle with this spruce right here or the smaller Douglas fir but the most closely associated plants are huckleberries and the whortleberries and the bear grass.